Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, welcome to Final Entertainment Methods. So let us learn a simple example, uh, through a simple example, the difference between Galarkin and Dialogates once more. So until now we have done the Galarkin and Dialogates method separately. So let us see the difference, see the sudden differences between Galarkin and Dialogates again. Let us take a simple example. So here the problem is we are solving u double prime minus u plus x is equal to zero. So this is our second order ordinary differential equation, which is a non-homogeneous one. So since because of this x part, so it will become a non-homogeneous one. With the boundary conditions u of zero is equal to u of one is equal to zero. So we have to solve this one using Gerakin method using Rallylids and let us do the exact solution for this and compare all the three at a time. Okay, so until now we have done this problem using uh, sinusoidal trial functions. So right now just apply the polynomial trial functions. So how, how can we apply the polynomial trial functions? We didn't do these things until now. So let us use polynomial trial functions to solve this differential equation. Good. So what is the exact solution for this differential equation? So we have u double prime minus u plus x is equal to zero. So I have mentioned here the given equation is a linear second order non-homogeneous ordinary differential equation. So for this, as all, all of us know how to solve this ODE, so there will be a complementary function and there will be particular integral. So for the homogeneous part, for the complementary function, what we do is we will take the homogeneous part that is m squared minus one is equal to zero. So the roots are plus or minus one. So the complementary function is given as c1 e power x plus c2 e power minus x where c1 and c2 are the constants we need to find out from the boundary conditions. So what are the boundary conditions here? u of zero is equal to u of one is equal to zero. So u of zero is equal to u of one is equal to zero. So with these two boundary conditions, we need to solve what are c1 and c2. So this is one part of the solution. This complementary function is one part of the solution. So what is particular integral? So if you see this equation, u double prime minus u plus x is equal to zero. And if you bring this plus x on the right hand side, it will be minus x. So it is some sort of polynomial function. So that is why we can happily assume the particular integral will be of the form of up is equal to a plus bx plus cx square. So let us let us assume something like that. So with this thing, with this up, then substitute this up in our ordinary differential equation. So substituting up in the actual equation. So what will we get? It is up double prime minus up is equal to minus x. So already we know what is up. We have assumed what is up. What is up? Up is nothing but a plus bx plus cx square. So if you differentiate this one twice, then you will get 2 times c minus up is a plus bx plus cx square plus x is equal to 0. So now just combine the terms. Now it is x square into minus c plus x into minus b x into minus b plus 1 plus the remaining terms are 2c minus a equal to 0. So this entire expression must be equal to 0 provided c has to be 0 the coefficients has to be 0. So c has to be 0 and minus b plus 1 has to be 0 that implies b is equal to plus 1 and 2c minus a is equal to 0 already c is 0 that implies a is 0. So the particular integral is of the form of up is equal to x simply since b is equal to 1 if you put b is equal to 1 here, so it is a0, c0. So it is 1 into x, that is nothing but x. So our particular integral is simply x. So the final solution is of the form of u is equal to, it's a combination of complementary function and the particular integral. Superposition of the two solutions, complementary function and particular integral, where complementary function is given as c1 e power x plus c2 e power minus x plus the particular integral is plus x. So this is our solution where the constant c1 and c2 are it to find it or it to find out. So we need to find the constant c1 and c2. So how to find these constants? We need to substitute the boundary conditions. What are the boundary conditions? u of 0 is equal to u of 1 is equal to 0. c2 is equal to 1 by e minus e power minus 1. So just substitute them c1 and c2 in the solution. Then we will get the exact solution. So u is equal to e power x minus e power x by e minus e power minus 1 plus e power minus x by e minus e power minus 1 plus x. This is our exact solution of the given differential equation. So now let us uh, find out the value 
of u at some particular x so that we can compare with Galerian and Rylandids further. So let us assume uh, x is equal to 0 0.5. If you assume x is equal to 0 0.5, then u value is 0. Point, approximately 0 0.056. So let us see whether we will get the same value in the Galerian and Rylandids further. Now let us start the Galerian approach. So Galerian, we are doing the strong form, not the weak form. We will do the weak form later. So until now, whatever the Galerian method, I I said that is completely in a strong form. We didn't weaken the differential equation at all. So let us use a strong form of the Galerian. So here the trial function is again. Let us take the same trial function. A naught plus a one x plus a two x square, which is a quadratic one. So it has to satisfy the boundary conditions, essential boundary conditions. So that is must. This is uh, rule number one. The assumed trial function must satisfy the EBCs, essential boundary conditions. So if you substitute these boundary conditions, then this expression will boil down to u tilde is nothing but a1 into x minus x square. It is pretty straightforward. Just substitute u of 0 here, substitute u of 1 here, then you will get u tilde is equal to a1 into x minus x square. So if you want me to show u of 0 is equal to, if I put x is equal to 0 here, it is simply a0 equal to 0. And if you put u of 1, nothing but, if you put 1 here, it is a1 plus a2 equal to 0. That implies a2 is equal to minus a1. So just substitute this a2 is equal to minus a1 here and a0 equal to 0. Then take a1 as common. Then you will get a1 into x minus x square is our trial solution which satisfies the essential boundary conditions. So where this solution is said to be kinematically admissible. Now, what is the second thing we need? We need a residue in calculate in for the galerkin. So the error or residual is given as residue is equal to. So this is our trial function. Just substitute this trial function in our given differential equation. That will give us the residue because this trial function is not the exact solution. So R is nothing but u tilde double prime minus u tilde plus x. Then the finally you will get R as just differentiate this trial function twice. Then you will get these things minus 2a1 so simply just differentiate this one twice it is very simple right minus u tilde is nothing but what is u tilde again minus a1x plus a1x square plus x so this is our residue now according to Galerkin's method of the strong form so how do we write this one how do we control the residue here we will multiply the residue with some weight function here this is the weight function over the domain dx equal to 0. So now what is this? Do u tilde by 2 ai. Nothing but do u tilde by how many constants we are having here in the u tilde? We are having only one constant that is a1. So our weight function will be do u tilde by do a1 nothing but x minus x square. So just substitute that x minus x square in the weight function. This is x minus x square and substitute here. So then you will get our residue already we have calculated previously. So what is the residue here? Residue is this one. Just take a1 as common. a1 into x square minus x minus 2 plus x. That is the residue. So a1 into x square minus x plus minus 2 plus x into x minus x square over the domain equal to 0. So now just expand the things. So it is like a1 x square minus a1 x minus 2 a1 plus x into x minus x square. So just multiply these terms inside. It will be a1 x cube. I am multiplying this one with this and with this. It is a1 x cube minus a1 x power 4 minus a1 x square plus a1 x cube. So like that multiply the remaining terms then you will get this expression. So what is the domain here? What is the range of my x? The x varies from 0 to 1. So substitute 0 to 1 here. Now take common of uh, the things a1, right? a1 is in common. So a1 into integrate these terms. So the integration is pretty straightforward. It is integral x cube, it will be x power 4 by 4. Now the upper limit is 1, the lower limit is 0. So it will be like a1 into this is 1 by 4, this is x power 4. So it will be x power 5 by 5, it will be 1 by 5. This is 1 by 3, this is 1 by 4. This is like 2 into 1 by 2 and this is like 2 into 1 by 3. So up to here we are having a1 terms. So you took a1 as common plus 
the integration of this will give you 1 by 3 and the integration of this will give you 1 by 4 that equal to 0. So calculate these terms all these fractions then you will get a1 into minus 0 0.3663 is equal to minus 0 0.0833. So from here you will get a1 as 0 0.2274. So what is the solution now? u tilde is nothing but a1 a1 is nothing but 0 0.2274 so it will be 0 0.2274 into x minus x square so just substitute x is equal to 0 0.5 here 0 0.0568 is the solution so if you compare this one it is 0 0.056 so they're same they're pretty much matching so it is 0 0.0568 now let us solve the same problem using dielectric method uh, potential energy approach so the potential energy so the main thing for the dielectric method the, what is the prerequisite for that we need the potential energy so the potential energy pi p is given as 1 by 2 integral 0 to 1 so this one we have derived already if you remember this one we have derived earlier from the variational approach so pi p is equal to 1 by 2 integral 0 to 1 u prime square minus 2 x u plus u square into dx so this is the potential for the differential equation given so what is the given differential equation u double prime minus u plus x is equal to zero so from this differential equation we got this potential right so in the Galarkin method we directly attack this one we directly solve using the differential equation so now here we frame the potential so using this potential so let us solve the problem so let us assume the same trial function whatever we have assumed in the Galarkin. so the trial function is given as u tilde is equal to a1 into x minus x square so substitute u tilde in pi p. So whatever the assumed solution, whatever the try solution is there, let us substitute that one in the pi p. So pi p is given as 1 by 2. The first expression is u prime square. So what is u tilde? u tilde is nothing but a1 into x minus x square. So what if you differentiate this one twice? Not twice, once. It is u prime square, right? The first term is u prime square. So what is u tilde prime? a1 into 1 minus 2x so the same thing i have substituted here it is u prime square minus 2x into u plus u square into dx over the domain 0 to 1 this is nothing but pi p so now expand these terms that is nothing but 1 by 2 into integral 0 to 1 it is a1 square into 1 plus 4x square plus 4x square minus 4x 1 plus 4x square minus 4x minus 2x square into a1 plus 2x cube into a1 plus a1 square into x square plus x power 4 minus 2x cube. So now if you see this expression now make some combinations we are having a1 square here and a1 square here so let's combine this a1 square so it is a1 square into it is x power 4 minus 2x cube plus 4x square plus x square it will be 5x square minus 4x plus 1 this is a1 square into some expression plus a1 into so what are the a1 terms we are having 2x cube minus 2x square a1 into 2x cube minus 2x square so just put them here okay so what is the range here the x varies from 0 to 1 now according to Rayleigh's method what we know it is nothing but dou pi p by dou a1 is equal to 0 so whatever the number of constants it is we are having one constant here that is a1 so differentiate this entire expression with respect to a1 and make it to 0 so if you differentiate that expression we are having again i am saying so here we are having a1 square if you differentiate this one with respect to a1 it will be 2a1 now we are having a1 here it will be 1 so that is why here 2a1 and here a1 is 1 so now we have differentiated this one with respect to a1 and make it to 0 now it is 1 by 2 into here 2 and this 2 will go off and this 2 this entire 2 take 2 as common here and here 2 is there and the denominator 2 the 2 will go off now integrate so a1 into x power 4 x power 5 by 5 and the limit is 0 to 1 so it will be 1 by 5 minus 2 into x power 4 by 4 nothing but minus 2 by 4 plus 5 into x cube by 3 that is 5 into 1 by 3 minus 4x square by 2 minus 4 by 2 plus x nothing but 1 plus x cube is x power 4 by 4 nothing but 1 by 4 minus x square minus x cube by 3 minus 1 by 3 
equal to 0. So now a1 into this entire expression will boil down to 0 0.3667 equal to 0 0.0833. Now we will get a1 as 0 0.2272 and the solution as 0 0.2272 into x minus x square. The same solution as we got in the hierarchy. So now the value of this u tilde that x is equal to 0 0.5 is given as 0 0.056 which is same the value that we got in the Galerkin as well as in the exact solution. So this problem again emphasizes the importance of Galerkin and the rally rates approaches which give the correct and exact solutions depending on the trial function. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ekina. Subscribe to Ekina.